Going back to school in 2020 looks a little different than usual. It's less hustle and bustle in the halls and more like a ghost town. It's, it's, it's a little quiet around here. Our high school is reporting about a hunt, just over 160 students. That's just about 25% of our total uh, student body population. As for the other campuses in the district, like the elementary and middle schools, they're seeing about a third of students in person. Well, it's just a challenge to have school in a traditional setting when so many things have been taken away from you. So the real challenges have been trying to accommodate uh, everyone that needs to learn remotely and uh, also trying to accommodate those that actually need to come to campus. You know, we have an obligation to serve them as well. And for those who do come to school in person, Fort Stockton ISD has put in place strict guidelines. Everyone must wear a mask, put on hand sanitizer when entering, have their temperature taken and spread out in the classroom. They've also separated where students can enter the building to avoid overcrowding. As for lockers, well, those are a thing of the past. We have the hand washing stations. We have the hand sanitizer in every classroom. We have additional uh, cleaning supplies in every classroom. Our custodians are working nonstop. It's like every time someone occupies a space, we're trying to move in as quickly as possible, wipe down and prepare for the very next person. Teachers at the school are working overtime to make learning possible in all shapes and forms. We are teaching to those that are here on campus today. That is something that I, you know, that we did ask them to do. And also they're preparing part of that instruction. They need to somehow capture an episode of their instruction sometime today and be able to post it to Google Classroom. So um, again, it doesn't have to be live, but uh, our teachers are getting very good at recording those mini lessons.